Aikido, a Japanese martial art formally established in 1948. The founder of Aikido, Morihe Ueshiba, known as O Sensei or Great Teacher to Aikido students. Here, Yoshimitsu Yamada Sensei, taught directly by O Sensei and today the chairman of the United States Aikido Federation, demonstrates Aikido techniques with his assistant, Donovan Waite. The principles of Aikido are based on harmony and unification, a joining or blending with the direction and energy of your partner's attack, leading the conflict to a peaceful resolution. Instead of simply subduing an opponent, in Aikido, the unification of your body, mind, and spirit is the goal. The Aikido techniques you'll learn by watching this tape, combined with daily practice in an Aikido dojo or practice hall, will show you the way to understanding a powerful martial art. In the Founder's philosophy, daily practice of Aikido techniques will also show you the way to Aiki spirit, a unification of body, mind, and spirit with the world and ultimately the universe. to say hello to all the Aikido students throughout the country. Now, uh, I've been waiting this moment for a long time uh, to make a Aikido video uh, showing uh, fundamental or basic of Aikido technique. I hope this uh, video will be beneficial for the student to study and also for an instructor uh, to teach uh, more fundamental how to technique. When you watch this video, I want you to pay uh, strong attention or the slow details instead of uh, focusing on the entire movement, right? such as uh, the hand movement or uh, footwork. And also, uh, please watch carefully how the can is his movement is, or how the uke make an attack, because it's very important for uke to make, your, make his attack strong and clear in order to give opportunity for nage to perform uh, technique clearly. So please pay attention on, also on the uke mi part as well. Proper bowing. When you come to the dojo daily, you're not coming just to practice the technique of Aikido. But uh, there's a, another thing we bow, right? uh, such as, for instance, uh, you run a lot of etiquette, such as uh, bowing uh, to, the, to the founder's picture or bowing each other. Now, you have to understand, bowing in martial art is nothing to do with the God or religious, okay? So it's just simply showing uh, your respect or showing your pre appreciation to the founder or to your practice partner. Say is a kneeling position. Basically, right, when you, when you do say that, right, first of all, keep your back straight, right, and try to put all the weight down calmly, right, okay, uh, put, put the both hands firmly, right, when you bow to Amida, you start with your left hand, uh, palmary, followed by right hand, right, and bow. Okay. Still, you're keeping your back straight and back position. Okay. Now, uh, to the to the to the teacher or to the to your partner. Okay. So. Ukemi, the art of falling. As you can see, learning how to fall properly is as important as learning Aikido technique. Also, learning how to fall properly is the key to learning how to throw properly. To learn the front roll, start off low to the ground. You want to turn your body into a circle or a sphere, starting with your fingertips, Roll over your arm and shoulder in a line across your back to your opposite hip. Here is the proper hand position. 
Notice that by rolling on the curved arm, there is no single point of impact. For the back roll, tuck your foot underneath you and roll diagonally across your back in a line from your hip to your opposite shoulder. Tuck your foot behind you like this so you can fall backwards easily and get up quickly. You should be able to stand straight up after you roll. If you play this tape backwards, you'll see that the front rolls and back rolls are almost exactly alike. Shomen Uchi, strike to the center of the head. Ikkyo. Okay, now I'd like to demonstrate uh, one of the very basic techniques in Aikido. Uh, Ikkyo, and Nikkyo, and Sankyo, and Yonkyo against Shomen Uchi attack. Okay. Uh, Please notice that after Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, Yonkyo is uh, based on Ikkyo. So uh, you must complete Ikkyo properly, then go into Nikkyo and Sankyo and Yonkyo. Shominuchi Ikkyo, Omote. Now, there are two opening stances in Aikido. If we stand with same foot forward, that we call it Aihami. Now, if we stand like this, we call this Gyakahami. So, for this technique, we start with Aihami. Now, as you raise your arm, you start moving your front foot diagonally, full, over. Okay? So that your yeah, balance is pretty strong. Okay? Otherwise, okay, you may end up in a very funny uh, weak position. So, so remember, for good balance, start moving with your front foot as you raise your arm. Make sure your body is facing the direction you're going. Okay? As you raise your arm, start with the front foot diagonally so that your balance is strong. Now I ask Uke to take the, his hakama off so that you can see uh, clearly uh, how he moves his foot, whatever fall he has to take. Uh, watch carefully how he moves his leg against the left knee. Okay. And, okay. Okay, now he should protect himself, put his, his left hand away from his body because he's gonna run straight down, right? Then his left knee down, okay, so that he can follow me, right? If he put his right knee down first, then obviously his body kind of twisted like this, okay? Right? This means he's gonna fall down right from his shoulder, causing some serious injury. Hey, at this point, he should protect himself, putting his left hand on the mat. Okay, go down with the left knee, so that his entire right side of his body is free to maneuver. Shominuchi Ikkyo, Ura. For Shominuchi Ikkyo, Ura, Start by moving to the side of your partner. Okay. Now, keep his arm in front of you, all the way. Okay. Go end up like this. Oh. Okay. Everything in front of you. Your uh -huh. arm should be extended evenly. Okay. And your entire body goes down. Shomen Uchi Nikkyo. Now, uh, Shomen Uchi Nikkyo, both Omote and Ura. So, uh, let me demonstrate first. Okay. you 
completely impure. Right? Uh, make sure, right? Keep feeding extension on this uh, on his elbow part, right? Especially when you try to switch for the uh, for nickel, right? Don't become like that. He might come up. Okay, so make sure you're holding him down until you fit uh, transfer uh, transaction complete. There are two ways of switching the wrist part. One is, okay, in other words, use your palm. Okay, press the palm against his hand and turn around. Okay. Now, second one, use your thumb. Okay, hook your thumb inside and turn around. Four. Watch. Last one, your palm against his wrist and turn. The important thing is, while you're doing this, okay, hold his elbow strongly or extend your own power strongly, right, all the way, okay? Now, second one, use your thumb, okay? Oh, okay? In other words, use his arm, you make two suck, I mean, now. in the motion. Okay. For the first way to switch for Nikkyo, press your palm against the back of his hand. Okay. Put your left knee down first. Okay. Move his arm in, inside your arm. Okay. Now bring your right knee above his shoulder. And the second way, use your thumb, keeping the arm in motion. Shomen uchi nikkyo, ura. Hey, now, shomen uchi nikkyo, ura. Which is, my be a bit uh, complicated, difficult, so please pay uh, good attention. Hey. Now, like I said before, uh, Nikkyo is based on Ikkyo. So, remember the show means Ikkyo Ura, then Ikkyo Hey, hey. Now, <coughs> from here, okay? The hand on the elbow, okay? Try down until the wrist part, okay? As you make a Ura movement. Now, do not aim directly to wrist, okay? Because sometimes might end up, you know, uh, receiving all the power. So make sure you go for each two, okay? And as you turn around, you move down your left hand forward, okay? With your move, okay? Now, same as the omote, when you switch, okay? You can use the thumb. Oh, and after you complete, you put this on your shoulder or chest. Oh, okay. Make sure close these two fingers strongly. Okay, okay. And this hand just come all the way from here to the really power to meet him. Also, it will be helpful, right, if you use entire body. In other words, as you bring this in, you kind of, your entire body kind of lean forward, right? Okay? This way you get extra uh, power, okay? Right? Don't pull back like that, then you just push it over, right? So, as you bring this in, you lean forward, forward, okay? And also, right? Don't, don't lift all your power up to shoulder, okay? Don't make your bottom part empty, okay? This part must be strong in order to feed a good nickel, okay? What I mean, don't become like that. <coughs> no, okay? Keep your weight down. You gotta deal with this part of the body.
Same as before. Hey, one more thing, right? Uh, important thing is the position, your position, toward your uh, angle, toward your okay. Okay? Uh, don't stay too much in front of him, like this, or don't stay too much away from him. No. Okay? This kind of proper angle. Okay? Now, as your stance, okay, according to your height, right, you make sure you make a comfortable and strong stance. In other words, if you make it too narrow, that lifts everything up, right? In other words, also, if you're too wide, you know, you don't feel too much comfortable, so accordingly, right? Right? Oh. Right? And as you apply any cure, it's your weight kind of forward, bending forward knee, right? Never uh, keep, keep your both knee kind of straight up like this, okay? Always your knee, should be any technique. Your knee should be flexible, right? And kind of loose, okay? So that you can shift your weight, uh, okay, you know, accordingly, okay? Okay, now, you're still holding this strongly. Just move this forward. And you turn around. As for uh, who can ask you uh, in this Nikyo technique, okay? Now, I understand, I understand uh, nobody like to uh, take a pain, right? However, okay, it's good, good training for you to get, okay? Because, you know, don't worry because I'm not putting a pressure against his elbow or, you know, I'm just bending the way it's done, okay? So it is good to take a good stretch, okay? In other words, right, for him, for him, right, kind of take the pain for, right, approaching his body toward me at, when he receives my pressure. For, okay. However, if he try to get out of my pressure, right, it might end up, turn it away, end up, end up receiving the pressure against his elbow. Okay. And once he, once he gets this position, it's hopeless for him. Okay, and also injury. Okay, cause a lot of injury. So, for okay, try to take that and you know, pain relief. Okay, okay. Don't turn yourself around the other way. Okay. Okay. You get worse of position or situation. Okay, okay. If you are, right? If you take, if you take that take it, okay, you always come up. You know, <coughs> The technique, whatever. Okay. However, if you turn yourself in the wrong position and end up like this, no, no, I have to press the elbow. This is it. I have no way. Okay. So, it's very important for uh, look at to uh, operate. Okay. Okay. <coughs> when you grab for Nikyo, all right, make sure you hold his thumb. Well, in pain. Okay, don't put your thumb inside like this, right? That way, <laughs> very dangerous. Okay, oh, okay, okay, and you put, put it against your shoulder so that you get extra help from your body movement. Okay, and other hand, dealing his power. Ooh. Remember, you're not putting a pressure against the elbow like that. No. Okay. Try to bend his arm like this. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So, sometimes you need to, you know, move your body uh, flexibly. In other words, okay. as I do this, as I bring the ring, I might move my shoulder a little bit. Oh. And carve in like this. Okay. Okay. I'm just demonstrating that the basic, but once you get your partner, everything has to be flexible and changeable, okay? Right? You have to use a little bit of judgment, okay? Okay, sometimes if his arm kind of stiff, right? I need a little bit of adjustment. I cannot go just like that, so just bend, 
and carbon in. Okay. Uh, as for Nikyo, okay. Now he had a choice, right, to get uh, uh, left knee or right knee. Doesn't matter. Like this or approach it like this. Doesn't matter. Okay. Right. However, don't go down putting a both knee at a time like this. Bang. Okay. Right. Because he also, okay, should consider his recovery or position wise for uh, counter techniques, for instance. Okay. All right. Or in order to follow my next movement, he should be ready. Right. But if he commits himself, kind of, his both knee kind of commit down on the floor, he got he got stuck there already. Right. But for instance, if he comes down with the right knee there. Right, right, that left. Right knee there, right? Then he's completely free for my next movement, which is I'm going to turn around. Shomen Uchi Sankyo. So, uh, before I do entire movement, uh, let me explain um, details how to grab the Sankyo. Right? Again, okay, uh, you use these two fingers. Okay, right? This is the one uh, which control, okay? Not, not the thumb part, okay? No. This two finger has to be strong and steady. Okay, okay. now, when you apply Sankyo, or, or when I put a little bit uh, extra pressure, uh, make sure keep his forearm kind of straight, right? So that means you must kind of put yourself down a little bit. Don't raise his part up or don't, don't keep his uh, forearm kind of flat, like that. This way, no, he has to, yeah, yeah, right? Uh, he just drop his elbow down, uh, or he can do uh, a million things, right? So make sure, keep the forearm uh, kind of straight, all right? So, so that, for that, I must do, uh, keep yourself down a little bit, right? Keep everything in front of you, at the center, right? Okay, when you want to move this part, you, you move it. The best. Right? Okay? Many people just involving the using the arm. <laughs> like that. Up. Okay? This just main remain here. Okay? You deal with the body movement. You can even make a step. Doesn't matter. Right? But remember, it's the body who control whole thing, not your part of the body. Such as arm or this part. Okay? Entire body. Okay. Okay. Keep everything down. After you grab for Sankyo against various attack, you will finish in two different ways. Right? One is Omote finish. Right? One is Ura finish. Right? So let me demonstrate how it's done. My first time, uh, first one, uh, Omote end. Okay. Now. Almost ending, I put myself in front of him. Okay. However, at this point, okay, his arm is on my way, so it's very difficult for me to move myself uh, in front of him. So simply, right, I move him up to make a room. Okay. Time. Okay. Move him out. Okay. Now you gotta do two more things simultaneously. Okay. As soon as you move him back, put this part down. Okay. And right. Now you have a plenty room. Okay. You come around. Oh. Right. Make sure you're still putting a thank you on his wrist. And move other hand on his elbow. Okay. Extend both arms evenly. Okay. And move back this direction. Right? Which is very weak angle for him. Okay. Now Sankyo ending is different from Nikyo. Okay. Once you put your pick it down, right? The hand on the elbow comes up and depress. Okay, from here, this hand comes up and 
change. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, put the other knee down. Oh. Put his palm against your shoulder or chest. Oh. Okay. Follow up by left hand against his elbow. Oh. And move. Sorry. Now the hand on the elbow comes up to the press. Please notice still the sankyo is going on on his arm. Right? Put it on this shape. Right? Okay. Okay. Go. Meanwhile, move your left knee down so you can sit down. Okay? You may use your shoulder or chest against his palm to help give an extra twist. Bring his wrist or your own arm down. Okay. Okay. Then. Okay. Now, this cause him or his body come around this this way. All right. Okay. Even though I'm not any uh, twisting anything, right? Even though I bring straight down, his body coming toward me. Okay. So that means. I should move myself out, right? In order to give him a room to go down. So when I bring this down, I move my leg together. Whoa. Okay. Right? Right? I simultaneously make second step. Back. All these three motion has to be done simultaneously. Okay? Uh, bring this down, step in back. And on the final step, those three movements have to be done simultaneously. It's not one, two, three different, you know, uh, movements. Okay, watch how it goes. Now, uh, I'm going to demonstrate doing a both the Sankyo Omote Anura against Shomen Uchi attack. Right? Uh, remember, I said before, it's based still based on Ikkyo, so you must complete Ikkyo. Okay? Don't go direct to the Sankyo. Okay? Hey, finish up. So, okay. Go Sankyo Omote. Okay? From here, you want to switch. Go Sankyo. Go. Okay? Go. Okay? You turn around. When you switch for Sankyo, you twist this hand toward the inside. Oh. Oh. Okay. So that easy to switch. Oh. Okay. You move around yourself. Oh. Okay. Move. Shomen Uchi Sankyo. Ura. Let me explain how to hold a uh, uh, yonkyo uh, properly. Okay, from ikkyo position, right, you switch for yonkyo like this. Okay, this hand maintain part of his uh, wrist like this. Move your right hand and put right. Oh, okay, just like you're holding a uh, book hand. Okay. This hand and set. Now, as soon as you grab again, again, just like holding a bouquet, you must uh, 
tighten up your two, these two bottom finger. Right? And put the pressure against this bone. Try to move his elbow down. Put your focus on the elbow. Ooh. Right? Instead of uh, concentrating on the wrist, despite this, try to move and take his arm. Ooh. Right? Right? Big. Ooh. Okay, he's not. Ho Young Kyo from uh, Ikyo position, set up. Okay? Right? You move your left hand. This hand, here, okay, this, so that you grab, you close, tighten up to bottom finger, okay, like this, okay, again, keep everything in front of you or center of your body, just like you're holding a pocket, okay, and try to move, think as if his uh, forearm is a pocket you're holding, try to sing a pocket. Entire movement, uh, your Meiji Yonkyo. Okay, uh, let me demonstrate the Omote movement first. In Ikkyo, right? and switch. Four. Okay. Four. Right? And just in three goes. Okay. And put extra pressure. Swariwaza, kneeling technique. So, in the Swariwaza position, you have no choice. Okay? You have to use this part. Okay? So, first, uh, we're going to demonstrate how the knee walk should be done properly. When you walk forward, okay, do not put the weight on the knee, such as like this. Okay? Go ahead, keep going. Right. No, no. Okay? Go back. Okay? So, no, this is incorrect. Okay, now, uh, before the action in Swadivaza, he should always sit down, uh, just like you sit down in your position. Okay, now, as soon as he got in the motion, okay, he should stand up with the top. So, okay, now at this point, his weight shouldn't be on his knee. Okay, however, his, his weight should be straight down on his toe, like that. After you stand up with the toe, okay, when he moves forward, you start with one leg forward, stand up, like that. Okay? Now putting his knee down and swing around. So, okay? Okay? Come back again. Breathe notice. When he moves forward, turn on, go ahead. Okay? Don't leave this leg behind you like this. Okay? Come back again. Okay? You should, he should carry his always with him and kept under his body. Breathe notice. Always in random action, his weight is straight down. Okay. Okay. Now, from here, from this position, uh, stand handy position. Okay. Okay. He should be able to do a, like a, such a tenkan exercise as well. Just keep the tenkan exercise. Go so, back and forth. Go so, back and forth. Go so, back and forth. So, Don't put the weight on the knee. That's a key point. So what it was a Shomenuchi Ikkyo.
have to show the details. So what it was a katatori nikkyo. Hanmi Hondachi. Hanmi Hondachi, Katate Tori. For who can attack Hanmi uh, against in Hanmi Hondachi, right? Normally, he should come from the angle like this. Hanmi Hondachi, Katate Tori Shihonagi. So, as soon as you get in the motion, you stand up to the floor. Okay. Okay. Put from inside knee. Okay. Because when you grab this, he right, got uh, the purpose, okay. such as striking me. Okay. So, I should protect myself with my movement. So, don't move with the outside knee first, like this. Okay. But move from inside knee, covering up your face, using extending your arms strong. Four. Okay. Four. Okay. And push your phone again. You grab the wrist. Four. Okay. Three down. Hanmi Hondachi Katate Tore Udegarame. Hanmi Hondachi Ushiro Katatori Jujinage. Yokomen Uchi. Yokomen Uchi. Against Yokomen Uchi, right? there are two opening movements. One is, I just demonstrate, you just move back. Okay? Other one, you enter. Because he's aiming to hit my side of the face or head, Right? His movement in his attack already has a circular move. Oh. Okay? That means I also make my movement kind of circular. Okay? Instead of moving straight back. Okay? So, in order to make a circular movement, I will start moving my back, moving to the side. Okay? And simultaneously, make other one back. Oh. Okay? So we, we end up 
facing each other. This hand is not for uh, grabbing the, his wrist or kind of blocking. Okay? This hand is kind of guiding him down. Okay? Okay? Down. Right? Now, with the other hand, okay, I also have idea or I'm, as if I'm attacking this side. Okay? This. Okay? And this continue and meet my both hand meet down here. Oh. Okay. 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 Now, at this point, okay, my balance should be that I'm kind of facing him. Because at this point, I don't know yet which direction I'm going. So it depends on his reaction. Okay? From here, I might go this way, or I might go the other way. Okay? So that means, right, it's very important for me to maintain good balance. Okay? So for Shifara from here, okay, you show the direction you're going. Take a step. Okay. From this position, okay. I'm going to decide to go the other way. Okay. So move this away a little bit. Okay. Let me see what technique. Okay. After you make a fast move, more. All right. You're going to start with the front leg moving diagonally forward along with this hand. Okay. Right. Turn your toe on the outside. Okay. okay. And I need to bring this up a little bit higher in order to make a room for me. Okay. Yoko Menuchi Iriminage. From here. Okay. Let's move this. Okay. Okay. So, now, for Shihonage back four. He should always, right, go down in the inside leg. Okay, come on, cross to me. Okay, tag this good point and open. Okay, okay. Now, four. for proper Iriminage okay. back four. Okay, as I, as a nugget step in, he should follow this. Go. Then, right, this way, he doesn't have to take a strong punishment. Okay, he can protect himself. Yokomen Uchishi Honage. Ura. Now for entering movement against Yokomenuchi okay. attack. Now again remember, okay, whatever technique you're going to do, okay, don't go for that particular technique right from the beginning. Okay. You make a fast movement completely. Okay. Okay. Then switch for technique. Now, when you enter, Okay. 
inflatable arm extending. Okay? You don't have, I don't have to go up high to meet him. This course, losing my balance. Okay? I should maintain uh, row and down. Okay? Okay? Right? And don't end up looking, facing somewhere else. Okay? I should end up seeing him so that I can see his next reaction. Okay? But if I end up facing wrong direction like this, I don't know what's going on here. Okay? So make sure you keep a, uh, enough room in between both of us. Oh, so I have a plenty of room to make any transaction from here. Now for Kokyo, we have the wrist, like this. Okay, see the difference uh, from Ikkyo? Ikkyo, you close hand and end up grabbing hold. Okay, for Gokyo, you come directly hold. And okay. This particular technique, Gokyo, can be used for uh, against a knife attack. Okay. I put him down. I need to take off his knife. Okay. So one way is put this up and put the pressure to this. Okay. Or right here, it's the knee against the bottom of his thumb. Morotetori. All you want to do against this attack, Morotetori, okay, you cannot go directly to a technique grabbing like uh, the, uh, the wrist, whatever, because he's very strong position. So I need to break up his balance, right? Turn myself. Right. Okay. okay. Now from here, there are two ways I can do. One is from here, bring him down. Morotetori Kotegaishi. This is a proper hand position for Kotegaish. Morotetori Ikkyo. So, after the opening movement with a strong Kokyo Power. Okay. You want to lead him this way. Oh. Okay. And then to bring it up. Oh. Okay. Going for it.
Katatori Menuchi. One day wrong. Okay, grab the shoulder. Okay, I got us. Just like anything else, he has a purpose. All right, grabbing this. Right, he not grab just for nothing. Okay, he grab. Right, he give me a tuck. Right, or strike. Hands uh -huh. up to me. Whatever. Okay, I shouldn't go right into the technique. Right, without making a. Uh, uh, Initial movement, or his arm uh, put in myself uh, secure position. Okay, for instance, don't go for grabbing the his wrist right away. Okay, okay. always make an initial opening movement. Okay, such as the grab. Okay, or depending on how he grab, okay, I might turn myself the other way. Okay. Or, another equal, I'm going to be very aggressive and make a move. There are two reasons uh, end up the position. Okay. One is, like I say, so that he grab, I make attack, don't block, I make attack. Okay. Okay. Then, obviously, he's going to block. Okay. All right. Like from his side. Okay, so that he grab, he might give me a strike. Now I need to block. Okay, that's why we end up this position. Okay, now the important thing is at this point, both of us must have a kind of strong extension each other. Okay, if mine is weak, right, I cannot. You know, like any kind of movement, I can't even lead him around, okay? Because I'm perceiving all his power. Now, at this point, if his blocking is not strong enough for weak, right? I just keep charging in. Okay? Again, such a At this point, we are both uh, must have strong. Uh, Extension. Okay, that's why, right? Because I'm feeling him strongly, that's why I'm getting back. So I turn around. Whatever thing. When you block his strike, right? Don't stay in front of him and receive. Okay? Always you move in sideways and block. Okay? So that you are out of his way. If he receiving or staying in front of me, okay, right? My next attack is cut this down and make another attack. Okay, that's my that's my attack. Okay, right? So he needs so that I grab. He needs to get out my way. It's sideways, so I cannot do nothing. Okay. That's the reason I move kind of to the side one. Even for blocking hip strike or even for my attack, I move. After this initial move, or okay, right? Because I still receiving his, his pressure of his power, I simply turn around this way to avoid. Right? Okay? But the important thing is, during your movement, you should keep feeling this strongly. Okay? Don't end up, don't give up on it. Yes, then you just come. Hold. Okay? So, strongly feel. Okay? Let's do a Nikyo. Hey, Nikyo. Katatori Menuchi Nikyo. Shiro Waza, attack from behind. 
Okay, such as uh, he might go ahead and uh, have a problem grabbing my boss wrist, or only my entire arm, right? Or could be a choking, right? Could be a holding my shoulder, right? Or choking my hand, like this, okay? Now, it's because he's attacking from behind. First thing you have to do is to get safety position for you before you do any technique. Okay, in other words, okay. Oh. Then you do what the guy see, right? Whatever. Okay. Or she katatori too. Okay. Don't go right into the technique grabbing for something like this. Okay? Always get position for it. Okay? Then thank you for the guy she Ushiro Katatori Sankyo. Ushiro Kubishime Jujinage. Ushiro Tekubitori Kotegaishi. Shomenuchi Kotegaishi. Now I'd like to demonstrate a few techniques against each different attack. First one against Shomenuchi. Shomenuchi. Shomenuchi Shihonage. Shomenuchi Kaitenage. Yokomen Uchi Kokyu Ho. Yokomen Uchi Udeki Menage. Yokomenuchi Iriminage. Iriminage. Tsuki Kokyo.
Kaczynski i dzięki mnie. Tetetori Kokyu Ho. Tetetori Riminage. Tatetori Nikkyo Ura. Shiro Tekubitori Shihonage. Ushiro Tekubitori Nikkyo. Shiro Tekubitori Sankyo. United States Aikido Federation, 5th Q test requirements. Shominuchi Ikkyo, Omote. So, let me demonstrate again Shominuchi Ikkyo. Raise your arm, you start moving your front foot. Diagonally, forward, forward. Right? So that, yeah. Balance is pretty strong. Okay? Otherwise, okay, you may end up in a very funny uh, weak position. Oh, 
So, start with your front foot. Have you ready on? Make sure your body is facing direction in boy. Shominuchi Ikkyo, Ura. At this point, extend your arm slowly as you move to the side. Then pivot as your entire body goes down. Shomen uchi iriminage. My and position should be behind him or on the same position as he is. So that this becomes uh, the center of the circular movement which I'm going to create. I'm going to make my own lady. Right? It's not easy. For this irimi movement, entering movement, you in the same position, no matter which uh, hami you're going to start with. Now against gyak hami, now against ai hami, the result is the same. Always end up same position. Now, what try on? Tori Shihonage, Omote and Ura. It's also a very popular common technique. However, uh, this is a, actually a very, very uh, difficult technique. Okay, so we should practice very, you know, uh, seriously, right? Okay, so Katate Tori Shihonage, Omote Put this 
can all the way. Oh. Eh? So we're just holding. Whenever you move forward, okay, always better to turn your toe outside the wall. Tetori Tenchinage. This Tenchinage technique, you please start uh, <coughs> Jack Hammond like this. Okay. 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 So, <coughs> okay. you must start with the front foot first. Okay. Moving in a bit diagonally. Obviously, right? And then your body kind of go down. Okay? I cannot go right into him, right? Like this. No. Right? And okay? And his arm should be extended all the way. Oh. Okay? Again. Again, watch my left toe. Oh. Now, this hand. Okay. You must keep this hand inside. Don't leave outside like this because he can stop you. Okay? Okay. Inside. Okay. And so. Kote Gaishi. First of all, I have to grab the Kote Gaishi properly. Okay? I see many times uh, people holding up different ways. For instance, grabbing here and putting the pressure like that. Right? But for Kote Gaishi, Right? You have to put the thumb back of his hand. Right? Now, inside his wrist, right? His two fingers should be inside his wrist and close. Make sure you're like a mini-me, then 
from my left hand me against the right punch. Okay? Okay. You enter and pivot simultaneously. Okay? And also keep your weight down. Okay? Don't come up like that. Okay? Deal with this part of body. And use this hand for, you know, for uh, push out. Okay. Now, from my right hand, against that. Okay. Okay. You go. for everything, okay? Whenever, whenever you make a move, don't limit your focus. In other words, for instance, this one, yeah. You know, don't be too, you know, conscious about this uh, face, right? Then my entire body, I mean, movement become kind of close, right? Because I worry so much about this, okay? Just ignore, make your entire movement, okay? Don't look at it like that, right? But become so uh, worry about this part we are doing. Okay, forgetting the entire movement. Okay, make a movement. Oh. Oh. Okay, now we're going to read. Always keep everything in front of you. Whatever you do against the attack from behind, okay, you have a, you know, uh, disadvantage, okay? So make sure, right? You get your proper position first before you do any technique. Okay? For instance, this one, uh, don't go for grabbing uh, Kotegaisi or whatever. Okay? No. Okay? Always get the position. Okay? When the ever become like this. No. Okay? Always keep strong. Keep it firm. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Even though you're holding very strongly, okay, don't get panicked, okay? Because you're not holding 
uh, your entire body. My shoulder is weak. Okay? I don't have to make my shoulder stick when you hold tight. No. Right? You should just bend your wrist. You know, that, uh, you know uh, the same direction. You go forward first. Right? And just come up. Four. Now, move to the side. Oh. Back. And, okay guys, just like a technique before. Okay. So, don't move just All one arm or up. one leg okay, separately. Okay. Okay. Move Everything entire move body oh. together. Guiding your okay. leg down. So that you can end up holding, okay. grabbing for oh, the okay. guys. After okay. you grab for the guys, okay. okay. move everything to the same direction. Morotetori Kokyu Ho. in a sitting position, right? It's the same idea. This is a way of, you know, to develop your coq power. Okay. What's, what's how the... Okay, okay. okay. for the nugget okay. wrist you know for Morotetori, you, you don't like aim that. directly. Okay. Too risky. Okay. Okay. And a back. Now, I like to demonstrate all the fifth skill techniques again in slow motion so that you can follow the uh, movement Theory, easily, and you never know, I might be able to pick up my own mistake for my future improvement.
glad to hear that I passed the fifth skill test yesterday. And I'm going to challenge the whole skill today. I hope I do well.